don't feel like my lighting gives this keyboard enough justice. Why don't I go over the features and we'll try to cover every element from there. First thing I want to bring up is the um, how to turn on function. So right here we see there is there is Bluetooth, there's USB, and there is off. So whenever you have it connected from the USB connector, which is a USB-C to USB-A, or any other USB connector that you might have that does have a USB um, at the end of it, um, you can select that one. Right here we also have Windows as well as Mac iOS. So right here I'm going to turn it on to Bluetooth. Ah, right now it's okay. All right. So here is the keyboard currently in Bluetooth. So um, a few things you might notice is how how it generally looks. So in terms of the color pattern, there is no RGB pattern. Um, right now it is all just illuminated in white. Um, so in terms of, uh, let's say for instance, what can you do with the light patterns, okay? If aesthetics are very pleasing to you, some of the things you could do is you can bring down the color, bring it all the way up. I just, I realized I knocked off the, uh, I knocked off uh, this key right here. Where is it? Where did you go? How? Okay. So I see these are pretty easy to take off compared to your standard um, right here. These are pretty easy to take off compared to your standard uh, key set, which I think for some is great, especially if you are in the keyboard community. However, if you're not, this may be seen as a downside because um, any sort of error that might happen where you are accidentally, wow, that was barely any power, um, where you are just simply typing and then you may have accidentally knocked over a key. If it flips over, you can't find it. Um, but anyways, what can you do with the light pattern? So let's cover some of those items. Um, you can turn it off. You can have a glow. And this little trigger right here indicates how you can um, change the light pattern. So this is really cool. And I'm curious, what are these? Is this aesthetic? Is this for aesthetic reasons? Oh, there is a function behind it. And this is just to turn on the light pattern. Wow, that's cool. That was not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm still trying to figure out what the right hand side does. Okay, let's check out the other light patterns. This one looks like it's a snake type pattern. <laughs> oh, that's kind of rad. I like that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, very nice, very nice, okay. What other functionalities do we have? Um, let's see if we can let's press the function key. All right, that looks like it doesn't do anything there. Okay, and then if we decide to bring down the light pattern, we can bring it down. So like the lowest is light up the back keys by itself. The highest is illuminate the uh, keys plus the uh, the actual back. So this is not bad. This isn't bad. Aside from the keys um, easily um, knocking off, as well as as well as uh, the lack of patterns for those who find that to be like their main draw, um, I think this is a pretty good keyboard set. The one thing I do want to bring up is the sound. Sounds not bad. Oh, that is a... So I've had a Taihiro uh, keyboard set before, and this, this space bar is nice. It's not as hollow as other uh, keyboards that I've had from them.
Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty good in terms of uh, how they're paying attention to the sound on this keyboard set. So I like this. This isn't bad at all. This is pretty good.